the five second rule. We all at least sort of want to believe it's real, but is it? It's the idea that we can eat food that fell maybe on the table, maybe on the floor, as long as it's under five seconds because that's how long it takes for germs to get on it, right? Uh, I mean, it's it seems like a cognitive bias that we all have. Mm -hmm. I have it. I, maybe I, I you have under, it. I was under the impression it was three seconds. So well, I, I yours moved is quicker. much more strict. Yeah, I went quicker, like but one, two, three. But the truth is, we all just want to eat the food. Right. It happens to me, happens to you. Yes. It happens in television. I'm serious about this stuff. I'm up the night before, pressing garlic and dicing whole tomatoes. I toast my own ancho chilies. <laughs> it's a recipe passed down from Malone's for generations. <laughs> It's probably the thing I do best. Kevin, no! <laughs> You're never gonna get chili out of the carpet! Don't eat carpet chili, everyone. Um, what about carpet pizza? Uh, well, we'll get to it. Okay, because I've had <laughs> I'm gonna both. say no to chili, because it's very viscous. Yes. And it really gets in there, and you don't know what little things, even carpet fibers are on the floor. Mm. It's never gonna be the same. But the five second rule, it seems to be something that people just know about. Right you know, from, from all over the country, maybe outside of this country. If you have the five second rule in your country, let me know because I think it's pretty ubiquitous. Um, people thought it came from Julia Childs saying that she dropped uh, some meat on the floor and picked it up and said, if if you were alone in the kitchen, their guests would never know. That's, but it sounds like something Julia Childs But she saying. actually didn't do that. She okay. just dropped it on the counter, which is different than the floor. Absolutely. In terms of cleanliness. Um, so that kind of became, you know, a real thing. Also, I think Julia was joking. But, uh, yeah, it seems that 70% of women and 56% of men surveyed in a 2003 study were familiar with that quote. And maybe we got it from Julia's child. But is it five seconds? Is that all it takes? Well. I, did they, they did a study. They had to have done a they study. They did a study. There is actually one study that is peer-reviewed on this topic and that came from um, Clemson University in the Journal of Applied Microbiology. So what they did is they inoculated uh, squares of tile, carpet, and wood, typical things that are found on the floor. Um, and five minutes after that, they, well, they inoculated with salmonella. So of, it's look, highly <laughs> not good for your body but to ingest. But out of all the things to say we're gonna try with is salmonella. Like there are various other bacteria and cultures you could have used to do five seconds. Nope, the one that gives people diarrhea. The one that just automatically um, makes you just run. <laughs> okay, cool. That was a great test group. So five minutes after they put the salmonella on the surfaces, they placed either bologna or bread on the surfaces for five, 30, and 60 seconds and measured the amount of bacteria that was transferred to the food. They did that again after the bacteria had been on the surface for more than five seconds, uh, two, four, eight, 24 hours. And uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> they found, actually, it doesn't matter how long it's on the surface. <laughs> it's going to get the same amount of bacteria. However, there is something that may make it more or less appealing to you to eat as someone who doesn't love to be poisoned. And this is Kim's tip for eating food off the floor. Um, so what happens here is the overall amount of bacteria on the surface is actually what matters. And the bacteria, at least in this time where they put mm -hmm. it um, on different, uh, those three different materials, uh, it decreased over time after the initial inoculation of salmonella. So it's not really about how long it's on the floor, it's how long the floor has had filth on it. Oh, so if the floor looks like the bottom of somebody's foot who shouldn't take their shoes off in your house, if it falls on the floor, let it go and let God. That's what you're saying. Probably. I okay. mean, I'm not going to recommend anyone eat food off the floor, actually, because there are more resistant bacterias uh, that can be extremely virulent. For instance, it only takes a few cells of certain strains of E. coli yeah. to kill you. It, it's almost nothing in terms yeah. of how, how many cells of, of, uh, are, of bacteria are on there, or uh, particularly... You know what this video just did? Made everybody who's ever going to drop food on the floor in the future just say, yep, it's over, it's gone. Well, what they did find was that carpet seems to fare a little bit better than wood or tile. So if you want to drop the pizza on the carpet, it might be more safe. I'm not saying it's safe, but it's probably more safe to eat. Um, 
less than 1% of bacteria was transferred in the carpet instance. However, in that same experiment with tile or wood, 48 to 70% was transferred. And that is quite a big difference. Unless it's that E. coli strain that will kill you. So, in conclusion, maybe carpet? Probably don't, don't eat the food off the floor. Did you like that video? Then you've earned the right to hit the subscribe button. You also have that right if you felt so-so about it. You can do anything. I believe in you.